Thursday midweek, shooting up north with Junior. Ooh. He's got some supplies here. Box lion red, oh, quite crucial. He's getting some uh, last bits and pieces here at Ocean Hunter. And uh, yeah, we're gonna tow the IB up north and explore some new offshore islands we haven't dove before, so um, we're pretty pumped. Anyways, we'll update you um, up there once we get into Northland. It's gonna be a hell of a trip, let's hope. Well, um, looks like we're finally loaded up. Looks like we're going camping with a, a bunch of girls. There's a lot of gear for um, a one night trip, but um, it's camping, eh? You gotta be comfy, get a good night's sleep because uh, we're hitting it very early tomorrow. Plan to be on the water at sunrise or even before, so um, whew, let's do it. It's a uh, sunny day and the wind's dropping, everything's dropping. It's gonna be Hi. awesome. Here's my uh, buddy dive for once. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Well, we made it up uh, north a few hours later and that is the view for tomorrow's diving. Looking awesome. Plenty of uh, islands to explore, can't wait. All right, we've made it to the campsite for the night. Beachside, can't complain with that. And we are shooting out there in the morning. Can't wait. Bit of onshore breeze at the moment, but it um, should be swinging around in the morning. Let's hope it's uh, as predicted. Anyways, I'm gonna crack a beer. Uh, oh yeah. What a view. Can't wait to get into it tomorrow. Nothing better than exploring a bit of new coast and um, we're in some of the best diving in the country. So fingers crossed, conditions play ball tomorrow and we've got a bit of visibility. Anyways, we'll update you uh, in due time. Just getting set up, get the tent set up. Probably be an early night. We're gonna be up about 4 4.30 in the morning, so let's get it done. Well, it's uh, just before five. Ever so slightly see the uh, sun coming up there. Barely, so um, yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of a cook up. Junior's on the hash browns over here. Cook coffee, not a bad sleep for a uh, night in the tent. And we'll be out there pretty soon. Wow, what a morning. Beautiful, absolutely good. Boat's in almost, and we are into it. So um, it's going to be an awesome morning.
fridge. It's looking And we're just going to nudge it here. I think that'll do it. Drop the pick. I won't show you too much, but um, absolute stunning morning. Not a breath of wind. Sun hasn't even come up yet, so. A little bit hazy, but it's all right. Yeah. Starting nice and early, just as the sun was coming up, we decided to snoop along a new bit of coastline, searching for a nice snapper parked up in the early morning, creeping over every ledge, tucking around every corner, being very quiet and stealth, and uh, yeah, hoping for the best. I chose to take the uh, one metre roller gun with me uh, in this morning dive. Nice and short, compact and plenty of power um, to knock her over a good snapper or if a kingfish did swim by, more than enough power to get the job done also. Sometimes uh, if you haven't been to a spot before, you just don't know how it works. Some places work in certain months of the year, uh, closer in, closer out. Anyways, it was pretty quiet on this day. I'm not sure what was going on, but what a beautiful morning getting greeted by that sun rising over the back of the hills there. It was just awesome. Found some just amazing pieces of coastline, deep gutters like this, perfect hunting terrain for snapper with nice kelp to creep through and hair over, but um, yeah, it was uh, quite lifeless. A few red mochi, as you can see ahead. Um, yeah, so we set a few burlies and hoped for the best. Oh, the seagull's not happy with me as usual. Really not a lot going on in this area. A few car away were buzzing past, but that was it. Um, so yeah, cruised on. There was a nice decent sized ray just parked up here in this little gutter so yeah checked him out let him be and uh, kept exploring this cool little bit of coastline was cruising along and saw this yellow moray eel um, going for a cruise as well speeding along not sure what he was up to usually just see them, them uh, tucked up in caves but yeah gave him a little tickle and off he went a few species around spotted ray and a uh, poor eye here I've had a few of these fish before and uh, haven't had much success cooking them up. Um, tastes like dishwashing liquid to me, but um, I'm sure I'm just cooking them wrong. And uh, like I've said before, most fish, if you cook them right, can be very, very good eating. So.
we had been diving for about an hour or two um, and no luck on the snapper it was just really quiet so decided to move on to one of the pins we had researched um, which is a kingfish hotspot and uh, yeah soon got onto them um, camera didn't work and ran out of battery just as I uh, shot a kingfish so unfortunately didn't get the first one on film but um, yeah fishy little spot this was after shooting the one kingfish um, things went quiet again so moved on once again and then we found this next bit of coastline it was just loaded with the selfie stuff I believe it's called selp um, yeah strange and thick and annoying <laughs> so moved on once again the kinna or sea urchin as you call them overseas uh, starting to get quite thick in this area and uh, it's like everywhere in New Zealand they're starting to take over as there's too much fishing pressure and uh, no big snapper or crayfish eating them so they're running rampant and munching the kelp. We've got a few fish on the board, king, a couple of butters, a poor eye and a pigfish. So we're um new spot here to the other side of these islands and uh, just up at the front you can just see the surface is just boiling fish actually coming towards us. Um, so looks pretty fishy, sun's coming out, we're gonna go and try and uh, nail a few more kingfish. Another crack at the kingies. The tide was running a bit more now as we were nearing the, the high tide and as soon as we jumped in we were just swarmed with these big schools of nice kawai so I knew we were in the right spot and at the right time and uh, took a kawai straight away. I knew the kingfish wouldn't be far away so quickly reloaded. How many? Diving down into the haze, I could see glimpses of these kingfish in the distance, uh, just a glimmer of their belly and their yellow tail showing, but just couldn't uh, get close enough. I had a good breather, dove down once again, and these big kingfish, three of them, just swam straight past broadside, and I just lined up the shot. Uh, didn't have time to put the camera on and put a great holding shot just behind the pictorial fin and uh, the fish took off into the reef. Junior! Junior had read my mind. I was calling for him to quickly get down. Um, the kingfish had his mates just circling around it. They weren't sure what was going on. It's always a really good chance to get a second shot at a fish. Once you've shot one, they um, very inquisitive to see what's going on. Get down with the Yeah. Big ones. Even though this fish had just taken a big shaft, this is my one 20 centimeter gun, seven and a half mil double flopper shaft, twin 16 mil bands, a lot of power and steel straight through behind the gill plate um, it was still fighting hard um, so I knew it was a good sized fish so if you shoot a big fish like a kingfish near a reef like this you really need to swim away from the reef as fast as you can keep the fish away from the rocks in the reef 
um, they will swim into the weeds um, over rocky ledges they'll try and break off um, so you get it away from that rocky structure as fast as you can and you'll have a much better chance of landing the fish Um, this fish's friend circled for a while and then took off into the deep water. I think they figured out uh, that it's not the best place for them to be and uh, yeah they took off anyways. Kept working at this fish, he kept doing a few big runs but managed to slowly pull him up. I knew I had a good safe holding shot and especially with the double flopper shaft, um, yeah it was a pretty secure, secure shot. Uh, as with all fish spearing, as soon as you can, get your arm and hand right up under their gills and get hold of their heads. As soon as you've got your hand locked in there, they've got nowhere to go and basically the fight's over. I didn't have a strong enough grip in this situation and um, the fish took off on one last run, but uh, soon brought them back up and uh, it was a game over for the fish. It's always good to do the humane thing, get that knife as soon as you can and dispatch the fish, get it stuck into its brain and, and put it out of its misery. Find the right spot and you'll see that mouth open up, um, that means you've nailed the brain and the fish is, the fish is out cold. Next up, get that knife in the gills, get the gills bleeding, get all the blood out of the meat and you're going to have a much better eating flesh. Shooting kingfish never gets old for me. They're not the hardest fish to shoot in my opinion and uh, if you go to the right spot, they're, yeah, they're pretty easy. Um, but they just put up a hell of a fight and they're just such good eating fish and you get a lot of meat out of them. So yeah, just love them. That's a good king. Not a bad king at all. Woo. Wasn't going to take another one, but um, it's been a slow dive in the last last hour or so, and um, cold, dark water. It feels like we're diving in the winter. It's a real nice fish. Big boy. Drop down here, I'm trying to get junior kingfish in, and this big boy just swam past. There's a couple behind him, I just couldn't um, pass the opportunity. It's a nice fish like that, so I'm um, pretty stoked. Good fight, and um, yeah, landed him. He's going to be um, over 20 kgs on his way to 25, so yeah, nice fish, pretty happy. Junior's just in here somewhere. First kingfish for the season. So um, let's hope he can get one as well. His real name's Oliver as well, but um can't have two Olivers on board, so call him Junior. <laughs> He's uh making some noise. He might have something. Just trying to pull my head again. Junior's knocked a kingfish over from the surface. Yeah? Hold him up. 
Hold him up. Woo! -hoo. Nice, brother. Oh, not a big one, but beautiful. He's, nah, he's that's less. a good kingy. So, um, yeah, a few kingies on board. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> that's what we came for. This spot, man. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one, apparently, and uh, I reckon it is. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Shot Junior. You. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oliver's Ooh. smashing kingfish today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Beautiful fish, man. Oh. Happy with that. Fuck yeah. This king in two years. First king on Junior's new gun. Oh, the old scorpions. <laughs> Hold up. Beautiful north of the kingy. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Oh my god, that's big. Let's hold that Yeah. Woo! That's a big fish. Oh, pretty happy. <laughs> oh, a little baby next to it. <laughs> well, we're just going to jump in, have a nice, last little look, and see if there's some uh, other species stands in the bag. Let's do it. See what he's got in his stomach. Seems to be a whole fish in here. Let's see what he's eating. All right. What have we got in here? He is a uh, perch. Um, okay, interesting. Pretty fresh. Looks like he's just had that one today. Might just chuck it in the bag as well. Take him home. It's literally fresh as rainbow butterfly perch, I think it's called. Anyways, get the rest of this nasty shit out. Well, all in all, a pretty um, successful little morning. Got a couple of kingfish, um, butterfish, a few other species. So yeah, we're pretty happy. Um, the job, a few cold ones, and. Um, yeah, what a day. Winterless north, pretty much summer, but yeah, no, it's beautiful up here. And um, yeah, tidy up this mess and uh, gonna cruise back, pump the fish up and deal to those. So, probably smoke up the big one and uh, keep the smaller one for some fresh sashimi and steaks. So, yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, anyways, if, that, um, if you're new to my channel, that's um, pretty much what I do each, each time I go out. Good missions, getting some seafood. And um, yeah, if you like that, whack me a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see some more, click subscribe. Going to be plenty of missions over summer. So yeah, stay tuned. Cheers, guys.